Hi Starlings, welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jasmine Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so much for being here for the first time. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. And to my subscribers, I cannot thank you enough for your love, your loyalty, and support. I do want to mention that at least for the month of March, the readings are going to be different. I've been guided to change it up a bit. So you're going to see um, uh, a different type of not style but what I'm going to be um, channeling is going to be different than what I've been doing in my past readings all right so I will be doing it in this manner until I am called to change it up again I also want to mention that I've launched my memberships on my website so I'm really excited about that um, it's kind of like where you get the exclusive content on Patreon, but I created my own Patreon type stuff on my own domain because I prefer having control of everything and it's gonna be a little better than Patreon. There's gonna be a lot more things that I get to do there to include live sessions with members that I'm not gonna do on YouTube and there's a lot of stuff that I want to cover in my lives there. So that's a big perk for some of the membership tiers. There are plenty to choose from. Um, again, I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. If you want to hop on that, check the description box below. I will have a link to take you straight to the membership plan so you can review them. Again, it's like exclusive content you're not gonna find anywhere else. So um, it's also gonna help supplement these readings, okay? Let's see. Yeah, if you go to capellawellness.com, you're gonna be able to see the link right there to go check on what membership tiers I have. I also want to wish you guys a wonderful, beautiful week, month of March. It's a magical month, guys. Take advantage of these energies, all right? I hope you have a wonderful, transformational, inspirational week and month of March. With that being said, let's get into your reading. Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading. How are you? I hope all is well with you right now. I send you many blessings and much, much love for this week and the weekend ahead. All right, Gemini, we're going to see what's going on with you at this time, what your obstacle is, and what lesson you are learning from this situation. All right, and then we're going to get guidance from Spirit on how to best navigate the situation and the obstacle. We're also going to check in, see what's going on with your love situation. All right. Okay, Gemini. Let's see what you're currently dealing with. Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, played in Syrians. Please reveal to us for I is good. Thank you. They already know. Well, the wheel came at like a 45 degree angle with the, oh my goodness, Gemini, with the judgment card. Okay. They're going to want me to take it in the upright, but they came like this, so... They said take him in the upper. We have two major arcana here, all right? Look at all the tens. There's a 20 and a 10, but if you're looking at the X's, 10, 10, 10, okay? There's endings and new beginnings here. This is all about new beginnings um, for you, Gemini, okay? There is something here where I'm hearing God is calling you to the front, <laughs> Gemini, it's like some of you are going from the back of the line to the front of the line. I'm hearing you're being exalted, right? There's liberation here. There's freedom. You are coming out of the grave. There's something where you are um, no longer following that life that you were living with the false beliefs and stuff like that. This is about really awakening to what God has called you to do. Um and again, I'm getting, to, I'm getting two groups here, but there's like a mix of this because some of you have really woken up to a lot of things and things are now turning in your favor. There's a huge turning point here with the wheel. Uh, it's like God has called you. You heeded the call, Gemini, and you're now listening to it. It's, it's You're saying, I got to break out of these karmic patterns. Whatever I've been doing, it's not working for me. It's I can't control my my um 
I can't control everything in my life. I have to let Jesus take the wheel, as I say with this card. I have to allow God to, to take over certain things, and I have to learn how to control what I can, control how I respond, take responsibility for my actions and my uh, responsibilities. I mean, take responsibility for my actions and my life's choices and move forward with, with my mission. Um, there's something here where uh, it's like a phoenix rising from the ashes type of energy. There's been a lot of growth and, and a lot of you guys are moving to the next phase of your journey. Um, God is now calling you and, and having you um, again move to the front saying, I'm now going to assess what you've done. And based on what you've done, I'm going to now direct you to what is now coming down the peg or, or what, what is now coming with regards to your journey. It's like judgment day. Okay. It's judgment day for you, Gemini. So either if you have been following your divine guidance and not controlling things, Wait, let me go back. <laughs> if you have been following your divine guidance, you have been heeding the call, you've been waking up, you're going through your ascension process, you're doing what is necessary to free yourself from the chains that bind you, to free yourself from this life that you know is not fulfilling for you, and you are relinquishing control of um, a lot of things, God is now saying, okay, well, you have had faith in me, you have... I trusted in your divine guidance here and now the wheel is going to turn in your favor there's like something unexpected here happening there's a bit of luck here it could be with the uh the jupiter in pisces transit um and it's funny because the sun is right at the midpoint between jupiter and neptune in pisces this is a very very once in a lifetime thing so maybe it has something to do with that so because you have fully given yourselves to God in a sense, God is now telling you, okay, you're going to be rewarded. There's something positive happening here for those of you who've been heeding the call. Now, here's another group where if, if you have been still trying to control things and not allowing God to help you get on that path towards your actual destiny, and you have not been taking action or you've been restricting yourself or you have been trying to, what's it called? Uh, follow what society is doing, follow what everybody's doing, kind of still getting caught up in the three world. The wheel's going to turn in an opposite direction. So you know your own story here, Gemini. You have to be honest with where you're at. Have you been, you know, letting go and letting God? Have you been giving God this, um, the, the ability to, to take over a lot of your life and just, I'm going to have, go forward having unwavering faith in you and just letting you, you know, guide me to where I need to be. All right. Because when you try to control the wheel of karma, you get hit with negative karma and you can continue to have these life's lessons that get thrown at you that you need to learn. Um, it's like you've come to this point here, Gemini, where God is going to determine, uh, have you been listening to me or not? Let's just put it that way. All right. And if things are continuing to happen here, unexpected events, there's like you get hit after one thing after another, after another and after another. That is God getting you to wake up. Wake up, Gemini. You are getting hit with your karma right now because you are not listening to my divine guidance. You are not heeding the call. That's for some of you, not for all of you, because for some of you, you are listening. All right. You are listening to what God is telling you to do. You are taking action and following the path towards what your mission in this lifetime is. All right. This is a huge moment here. This decision needs to be made. All right. And God is, is, is seeing what decision you're going to make with your life. Are you going to heed the call? Are you going to start throwing away what doesn't serve you and start following your life's mission? Or are you going to continue to repeat the same karmic patterns? 
it's a huge thing you're going to have to decide on. And I have to say, Gemini, if you decide to, to not follow your calling, you're going to get hit with this, the, all these karmic lessons to get you to understand, hey, this is not the life you should be living, Gemini. You need to be following what we've called you to do because there's a higher purpose here. Okay. You guys are here to be examples for others. You're here to liberate others, to free others from their predicaments, from their situations, but exactly what I've been called to do. You guys, if you watched my live last week, I talked about, I don't know whose reading it was, but when the judgment came up, card came out, um, I said that with being this ex exaltation here, right? You're jumping out of this ocean. You're jumping out of the depths of the sea, the, of go falling into the, the, the depths of the ocean where you're just drowning in this world that you know is not fulfilling you and you jump out here and with everything that you've gone through you are here to be an example to others and others you people have been assigned to you gemini whatever you've been going through you're going to be attracting those people that god has assigned to you to help with their ascension process with their awakening process their self-transformation all right complete profound change so that they can be prepared to fulfill their, their joint mission and be more at peace with themselves. So a lot of you, you have people waiting for you, Gemini. So if you haven't been following your calling yet, you're going to continue to have this wheel of fortune go in the opposite direction. You're going to be like, why are all these things happening to me uh, and, and, and all at once? That's because you're not heeding the call. Okay. Again, that's for some of you, not for all of you. All others of you, things are now turning in your favor because you finally understood that you have to take action for, uh, you have to start taking action and start making the right choices that are in alignment with your higher self, that were, are in alignment for your mission, your higher purpose here, okay? So either... You've been doing that, Gemini, and now things are going to, you're going to be moving to a new timeline. You're going to be moving to a more positive place in your life, or it's going to go backwards. It depends. Okay. There's another group of you. Oh, and they want me to look at the bottom of the deck here. See, we have the page of swords. This is about you understanding that with this new beginning you're about to embark on, while it's going to be challenging, you're going to be able to handle things because you have the Ace of Swords with you. You have that clarity, that focus. You have the ability to see things clearly and to help you move forward on your path. There's also something here about stop being guarded Stop trying to avoid the situation or stop trying to guard yourself from making that decision. It's kind of like some of you are a little bit reluctant to uh, move forward with regards to heeding your, your, heeding the call here. Some of you may be thinking, well, I need to do more research. I need to do more exploration. I need to really get the details of this and see if this is the right move. Some of you are going a little bit overboard with regards to research, looking up things. There's social media here. Maybe you're looking uh, outside of yourself too much to get the answer when you really need to be listening to your intuition and, and following your divine guidance here. It's like God keeps telling you, hey, Gemini, wake up. I need you to do this. And some of you may be trying to analyze things too much and looking up things. Maybe you've done enough of that and you have what, enough of that information for you to move forward, but somebody here is continuing to just look outside of themselves. I'm hearing something with the internet or social media or whatever this is, and... Um, and, and really not paying attention more to what God, your angels, your ancestors are telling you to do. Okay. Now, there's also something about you guys need to better communicate with the universe. Um, exactly what it is that you want this lifetime and how you're going to go about 
letting go of what doesn't serve you and and really have the courage and confidence the ambition to follow your mission here without worrying about what's coming down the pike what, without worrying about um the future here you have to have more op optimism because the wheel uh is tied to jupiter like i talked about there's there's a change of events here and it looks like this this event whatever this is coming this is kind of similar to a tower moment gemini it's going to come in whether you like it or not Either you're going to get hit with more negative karma or you're going to get hit with, uh, you're going to have more positive karma come into your life. So there's a few of you here where there's a significant phase in your um, journey ending. Um, it is judgment day for you too, where God is saying, you've made the right decision with following my divine guidance. You've, you've been following your mission. You've been taking action on what it is that we've been guiding you to do. You have stopped to con you stop controlling things, and now you are going to uh, birth something new into the world because this wheel card has a a pregnant woman in it, and it looks like now is your time to give birth to what you've been creating with regards to what you have been called to do is your mission. Yeah, I'm hearing it's it's time to reap your rewards. You, some of you are receiving your karmic payout. There's there's a huge thing here with those of you who've persevered and you have continued to um, go f with the flow and, and follow your divine guidance, you have had unwavering faith in God. And because you have had that unwavering faith and you've let the wheel turn, you stopped controlling, you just said, you know what, God, again, Jesus, take the wheel. I'm just going to go do what you've asked me to do. You have been following what, what God has told you to do. Somebody here has been really uh, focusing on their mission wholeheartedly. You've been building something with regards to what you've been called to do with your life's purpose. And now it's it's time to give birth to um, that project or it's now time to, again, reap the rewards. These two cards talk about reaping some significant rewards because of the fact that you have continued to just go with the flow and let the wheel turn and you continue to listen to what God and your angels, your ancestors have told you to do. There's a huge karmic payout happening for somebody here. There's something unexpected that's happening. I'm hearing also there may be an expected change of your relationship, your, um, your home status, like maybe you're moving because this does have to do with travel. Um, you, God may be freeing yourself of where you're at because now you need to move to someplace different because where you're at, it, you've already fulfilled the, the mission there, something like that. This is kind of a weird message coming in. And now God is exalting you and he's moving you to a different place. Um, there is some strong sense of travel for somebody here, but... <clears throat> your relationship is changing relationship status your home status your family status your financial status it's like there's some great rewards here coming for somebody okay expect the unexpected with this there are major new beginnings here for you gemini your life is changing in a very unexpected, dramatic way. And God is rewarding you immensely because of what you have been doing for a while now. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the page of swords. There's communication coming in from somebody. Could be from an air sign or they have air in their chart. Gemma Libra Aquarius. There's a letter. There's some sort of... Um, a text message, there's communication coming in from somebody. Could be from somebody who's younger than you or could be coming from somebody who has overcome the fear of communicating their truth. There is someone communicating their truth. They're, they know that they need to speak to you with honesty and integrity here. They can't hold back. They know they have to to come clean. They know have to, they have to uh, 
wipe the slate clean is what I'm hearing because they have the ace in their hands right here. What I'm hearing is just going to be a fast change. It's going to be quick communication too. We have like a falcon here, it looks like. So birds are about communication and their, their flight. Their, it's swift movement. This, this communication is really flying in here quickly, Gemini, and it's going to change a lot of things. It's unexpected. It's fast. It's sudden. It's unexpected. But there is goodness with this communication coming in. All right, somebody's speaking their truth here. And it's really going to turn things around, but in a positive way. That's for some of you, not for all of you. So yeah, there's eight of pentacles. Like somebody's been working very hard on this letter, on whatever it is they're going to say. Somebody's been very dedicated and committed to working hard on creating something or drafting up this letter. And they've been making sure that they are coming across not in a harsh manner, because maybe they've done that before, but also coming across in a way where it's it's this pure intention of making sure that the truth comes out. It's the whole truth and nothing but the truth is what I'm hearing. All right. They've been working on this for a long time, and they now know it's time to communicate. And we have the Ace of Cups. That's interesting. Reversal came out. I usually have these in the upright. But... This person, like I was saying, they're no longer holding back and holding these emotions in. There's something about somebody who's going to pour out their emotions to you, but they've been working hard on making sure that when these emotions come out, they're not going to come from a place of ego or a place of dishonesty. All right. Somebody's also been working very hard on doing some self-reflection and focusing on self-love, self-worth type of thing. And then after that, there's the page of pentacles. See, there's more communication, honesty, trustworthiness. You can trust the communication that's coming in from this person. All right. Wow. Look, it's the empress and the ace of pentacles. Yeah, there's a new beginning here. There's new beginnings all over the place. Somebody has greatly healed. Both of you have greatly healed. There's something where you're operating now. You're vibrating at the violet flame frequency because that's the energy that the Empress operates at, that she vibrates at. Um, there's a, a new beginning in love too because this is ruled by Venus. Venus. This is Aphrodite incarnate. Um, there's a new relationship forming here and it's going to be very fruitful, very abundant, very prosperous. There's a lot of unconditional love here. It was we saw with the Ace of Cups too. Because both of you are now vib vibrating at this level, you are re you've integrated your divine feminine energies and you've balanced them out with your divine feminine and divine, divine masculine energies. You've built a more solid foundation for things to grow in, in a more fertile ground here. There is a completely new beginning. Someone's been giving a second chance here for uh, a completely more abundant, more harmonious, unconditionally loving life if that makes sense there's 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 a lot of new beginnings with this gemini so and the others of you yeah this is about heeding your call with becoming this em empress really really embodying these energies here and starting life anew again to build a more prosperous solid foundation for yourself there's a lot of potential here to, to be a lot more abundant in your life, not only uh, financially, materially, but emotionally, spiritually, and physically. All right. This is nice. This is nice. Let's see what the obstacle is. What is the obstacle for Gemini? Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians, please reveal test for our highest good. What is the obstacle? These cards are coming out sideways. We have two again. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Okay. So, Gemini, the obstacle is instead of investing in things that don't serve you, um, do you have to start investing in things that do serve you? With this, this is a poor return of investment in this uh, position here. This could also be where um, 
an obstacle here is patience and, and understanding that divine timing is part of everything. Here's another thing I just remembered. That's divine timing. There's divine timing cards right here. Okay. Um, some of you need to free yourself from, from trying to control the situation and trying to make things happen more quickly in your life than, than God wants it to. All right. You are on God's time, not human time. So there's, there's an energy of having patience here and allowing nature to run its course, right? Let things grow in, in organic uh, manner. That is what a true divine feminine does. She doesn't control. She doesn't force. She allows nature to take its course. She just does her thing. She has patience and compassion and, and forgiveness, unconditional love. She creates things. And while she's doing things for the greater good of humanity, she's not trying to, again, control the wheel of fortune here because she knows that it's going to backfire on her. So for some of you, you just have to go with the flow and you have to let things grow in an organic way and start investing in things that are going to give you a positive return of investment, not a poor return of investment. Some of you need to start putting more time, money, energy into yourself, all right, into your self-growth. This is about growing, but allowing you to plant those seeds that are going to grow flowers and trees and the apple orchards. They're not going to grow weeds here. And again, when you plant those seeds, you have to learn how to water them and make sure they're fertilized, give them sunlight and allow nature to just do the rest of the work as you are doing your part with making sure that they're watered and they're in a, a positive, they're in a still, they're in an environment where they still receive the sun, the light, whatever this is. But then you allow God to take care of the rest right? Which is why I was talking about not controlling the wheel of fortune here, the wheel of karma. Um, again, with the king of wands, it, it, in this position here, it's stop having to control things. It's like, I need to have it my way or the highway. It has to be done this way. Uh, I'm going to put miracle grow all over on the stuff that I've been planting to make it grow faster. <laughs> That's not how that works because you have to have that, that time to understand that building um, with regards to your awakening process and, and elevation of the soul, it takes a while. This is a master of spiritual growth. This is someone who has enormous spiritual strength. But we see with this tree here, you know how long it took for these roots to grow, for this tree to, to um, evolve, I guess. This is about evolution of, of the soul and your spirituality here, but that takes some time. You can't rush that. All right, Gemini. Um, and, and not trying to be ruthless and trying to be impulsive. And it's like, I have to make this garden grow faster. It doesn't work that way because then you get hit with more lessons to get happy. You got to have patience, Gemini. You have to let things just grow at their own pace here all right um there could be a sense of where some of you you can't even though it takes a long time for the harvest to come around just look back and and look at how far you've come. What have you done? What seeds have you planted? What have you manifested? What has grown? How have you changed from the beginning of your journey? Or this is about when you're undergoing your journey, you stop to kind of smell the roses and, and look at the progress that you've made. All right. And don't focus so much on the outcome, on the end goal. Look at how far you have come. All right, for some of you, that's a hard thing to do because some of you want to, to have things just move more quickly and have things grow faster. No, again, with putting that miracle grow there, guys, it's, it, you end up not really learning the lessons and, and seeing the beauty in what you are planting, seeing the beauty in how much you have learned, how much you have grown, all right? Also about gaining, building that strength. You need that spiritual strength. Gemini to help you prepare you for the mission that God has called you to do. Okay. Um, you have to continue to make the progress. 
You can't stay stagnant, right? Especially if you're not really seeing anything in the physical with what you have been doing. Get out of that need to see things in the physical. Know that things are growing, that things are going on behind the scenes, that God is supporting you with this growth, spiritual growth here, all right? But you don't have to see things in the physical all the time. You have to have that faith, right? With this judgment card that's behind the wheel card here. You have to have that faith with regards to knowing that what you were building, what you were growing, it, it's, you're going to reap the harvest. You will have that abundance here. But again, it takes time, all right? You have to persevere. You can't just stop because you haven't seen anything yet. You know, when you plant the seed, there's a lot that's going on underneath the soil, right? It's just like, let that, let that seed grow at its own pace and just continue with doing whatever God has asked you to do. Continue to focus on yourself, to invest in yourself and your personal growth, learning how to become this strong spiritual individual here because you're going to need this again to, to prepare for your life's mission because once you are for fully living it you're fully living it people are going to try to take you down people are going to try to dethrone you off of this king off of the king's throne all right just let things let it let it take its course let it take its course there are things that are happening behind the scenes here okay it's the energy of this high priestess. Things are going on behind the scenes that you know nothing about, and God is saying you don't need to know about it, Gemini. Some of you want to see what's going on behind the scenes. Some of you want to know what is there something in the dark that I don't know about? It's like do I need it's like a need to know everything. All right. But it's a need to know everything, but having a physical result of something, a physical result of the seeds of you planted, physical result of what you've been investing in, you don't need that because the high priestess knows what's going on on the inside. This is a very highly intuitive individual, Gemini. You guys are very psychic, very intuitive. You have to trust the divine guidance you're being given. You have to trust the signs and synchronicities you're seeing. You have to trust your intuition. Again, you do not need to see it in the physical. So some of you need to get away from having the need to see a result in the physical. God's working the magic. And if you're not seeing something grow here in the 3D world and you're trying to control it, it's, it's going to backfire, Gemini. It's not going to work in your favor. You're going to get hit with another lesson to trust your intuition here. This is Pisces energy. You may be dealing with a Pisces. Maybe you're trying to see what's going on with, with somebody who you're connected to. Like, I'm hearing you need proof. Again, with that page of swords, it's like, I, I, I got to do some information. Maybe some of you keep spying on somebody and, and looking to see what's going on because you're not hearing anything. You're not seeing anything. Again, Things are going on behind the scenes that you know nothing about and you do not need to know. You have to trust your gut. Trust in the signs you're seeing, in the synchronicities that you're seeing, the guidance that you're being given. Just because things are silent, things don't seem to be moving, does not mean that things are happening in, in the higher realms. Some of you have to stop suppressing your intuition here. Your gut feels something, but now you're not seeing it in the physical. Trust your gut. Okay. You guys are very psychic, very intuitive. Trust in that. You got to let go of this block. 
of the need to know everything, if to see things in the physical. And yeah, again, with that page of swords, if you are spying on someone, you keep going outside of yourself, doing research, whatever, trying to validate something, you got to stop doing that. All right. You have to stop doing that. So for somebody else here, um, I'm hearing the, the wait is over. You have put in a lot of effort. You've, you've planted your seeds. You Again, you have done a lot of hard work here, and now you're going to reap your rewards. This is a millionaire card. For somebody, there's something where your finances are really taking a huge turn upwards. There's, a, there's like a jackpot. Maybe you're winning the lottery. I don't know. That could be for somebody, all right? Like you might become a millionaire overnight. I don't know what this is. But there's something with money here. There's a jackpot. There's a huge change in your finances and in, in your your life here. You're Not only are you reaping the harvest, Gemini, you're coming into a lot of money is what I'm hearing. This is part of your reward. Um, somebody here has done some significant major life changes and they have done uh, what God has asked them to do without questioning. There's somebody here who's also very psychic, very intuitive. You have, um, there's something coming to light here and it's coming with this communication. Secrets are going to be revealed. The, like I said, somebody is not holding back. They're not hiding anymore. They're not suppressing their emotions. They're not suppressing their intuition. You could be dealing with the Pisces. It could very well be, this is for somebody, not for um, everyone, but it's at least one person here that somebody you're dealing with who's a Pisces is going to reveal the truth to you. There's some secrets are going to be brought to light. Um, a lot of things are going to be brought to light here, and it's been a long time coming, but you have been working hard and focusing on your mission, Gemini, and not on this situation. This person has also been very working very hard on being able to communicate what it is that they've been hiding all along. It could be hiding feelings, could be hiding things that have been going on that have been um, challenging for them in their spiritual growth process, whatever this is. But there is somebody here who has who's coming in as the King of Wands now. They're ready to take action. They have grown a lot spiritually. Like this person has done so much work on their personal, their spiritual growth. They are no longer afraid of revealing what they've been hiding all this time. There's a very strong, action-oriented, incredibly confident and courageous person. This is the most courageous of all the kings. This person is no longer hiding in the dark. They're coming out of the dark. They've done a lot of hard work on building up the strength and the courage, the, the personal growth here, the spiritual growth to come forward with revealing the truth about stuff, with revealing their hidden, their innermost hidden emotions, something like that. Um, uh, yeah, there's a lot of influence with the Pisces energy here, right? With Jupiter, his son, and Neptune being in Pisces, this is kind of influencing this. And now this person is ready to take action because they know it's been a long time. But they they now know that it's time to, to come forward with revealing their true selves. And they're no longer being um, fearful of coming forward with this truth, with the hidden feelings, with whatever has been kept in the dark. They're taking the lead. Here. We're now taking the lead. Yeah, somebody has, has mustered up a lot of courage here to come forward with revealing what's been hidden for a long time. I'm hearing it's been a long time coming. I'm looking at the number seven. Could be seven years for somebody here. They've been hiding something for seven years. That's for somebody specific, okay? They've been hiding for something for seven years, and it's taken them about seven years to really muster up this, this confidence and courage to come forward. And it's taken seven years probably for the both of you, Gemini, you and your person, to build up this spiritual growth, to master this. To be able to understand that I know what I want. I'm going to go after it. Looking at the bigger picture of things and saying, you know what? 
I need to really invest in myself. I need to really focus on what it is that I'm trying to achieve here. Creating things for myself because wands are about creation and not being afraid to follow my path of truth. Okay. Wow. There's a lot coming through with this. Let's see. Look what's after this. High Priestess and the Hierophant. Yep. Things are coming to light with regards to uh, commitment. Making a song, strong, solid, stable commitment here. Marriage even. Um, hidden things about having reservations about conforming to society. And I talked about for some of you guys, you have to stop you know, your divine guidance, your intuition is telling you stop trying to follow the norm. You know, uh, conf like I said, conforming to society, the programming that you have been uh, following this whole time, it's time to let go of that. It's time to start following your own beliefs and whatever it is your gut's telling you. There could be somebody with a Taurus moon here because I'm seeing a moon and this is Taurus energy. Again, take it how it resonates. There's all this stuff coming through here. Ten of Swords. The worst is over. There's a new dawn on the horizon. But if you guys are feeling like a victim, like you're spent, you're done, you, you, this is all these life's lessons hitting you hard here, Gemini. That's why for some of you, some of you, you're getting hit with a lot of unexpected things happening and you're wondering why is all this happening? It's because you're trying to control things and you're not heeding the, the guidance. All of these knives, these swords are being thrown at you to get you to learn something. And you're like, I can't deal with this anymore. When is it going to get any worse? It gets worse when you break free from the 3D world and understanding the truth. Again, with that Ace of Swords. You have the power to break free of whatever this is. Stop feeling like a victim. Stop thinking that all this, that the world is trying to come down on you. It's because you're trying to take too much control. It's because you're not realizing that you have the power and, and that that ability to to break yourself free from this situation all right let's see what um the lesson is what is the lesson to be learned here for gemini with regards to this situation spirit guides angels galactic family pleading syrians please and thank you thank you for your wisdom your guidance your support and your clarity Okay, some of you, the lesson could be reconciling with your past. That's what I just heard. Okay, this is a reconciliation card. But um, there's also about, again, with trying to control the wheel and trying to conform to society, breaking those patterns, doing what everybody else is doing, getting out of the hamster wheel, some of you are just... With regards to not heeding the call, you're also not listening to your divine guidance and saying, you know, you have to celebrate life here, Gemini. You have to learn how to have fun. Life isn't all about nine to five and, and, and working the grind and overworking yourself and, and again, trying to control things. There's something here where some of you may be trying to... Um, work so much to to have a certain amount of money instead of realizing that god is your only source of supply or focusing on money too much that's for somebody in particular okay i mean there's third party interferences here now there's somebody here, if you're spying on your person or you're, you continue to like spy on people <laughs> to see if there's a third party interference, like why are you doing that? You need to be focusing on your joy and your happiness and your bliss. All right. There's somebody here who's spying on somebody, seeing if there's a third party involved. You got to get away from that. You need to focus on yourself, Gemini, for whoever this is. Again, Seven of Pentacles. You got to invest in yourself. Stop looking outside of yourself. Stop trying to seek vindication, validation of something. You really have to be finding more like-minded people and joining a community who's going to be more supportive of what you're doing. Like, you know, 
getting guidance from people who've been through something similar that you've been through or having surrounding yourself with friends with people who are going to be more supportive of what you're doing you really have to stop allowing these third party situations from blocking what it is that you need to be doing some of you, these people, these third-party situations are blocking you, blocking your abundance. I think you might, guys might have gotten that message before. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, you guys really have to um, stop letting third-party situations interfere with your personal growth here, your spiritual growth. Or having somebody else influence you. It could be social media trying to influence you instead of really trusting, you know, more spiritual guidance, divine guidance that, that has been heading your way for quite some time. Maybe somebody's doing too much heavy partying. Maybe going out too much. Maybe somebody here is trying to escape by now here's the opposite trying to escape with having uh you know it could be drinking all right could be drinking for somebody trying to escape heeding the call because it's like i don't want to deal with this and somebody is escaping by drinking that's for somebody here specific again it's not for all of you or or going out too much having fun too much and you're trying to avoid actually listening to what god is telling you to do trying to avoid really doing the shadow work and following your divine guidance i'm working towards your personal growth here all right that's for somebody um there may be a third party surrounding you or your person's dealing with the third party and you're getting so caught up in that third party that needs to stop. That's for somebody here. Some of you need to balance having fun, going out with friends and spending time alone. All right. You're having a great time. But you're not focusing on what you've been guided to do. Again, the judgment card, taking action on following your life's purpose. You're trying to escape reality here. All right. But again, others of you, there's a lot of, a lot of different groups here now I'm getting... Others of you, you, you have to really spend a balance. Again, it's like have more fun in your life. And finding friends and like-minded people who are really going to have your back here. But don't become overly codependent on these people either. That's going to be a challenge for some of you. It's another challenge. All right. And if there are third-party situations, whether it's drinking, overworking, or trying to escape, or... You know, you're getting caught up in somebody dealing with a third party. Let it go. Let it go. All right. Balance time alone and balance enjoying yourself. There's healing of well-being with this three of cups. There's new beginnings here too. But it's really about understanding that your happiness is of the utmost importance and that any third party interferences dealing with this it has to get cut off temperance is at the bottom of the deck see what i talked about balance this is sacred balance this is balancing your masculine and feminine energies some of you need to do more of that you have to go with the flow Again, with divine timing, we have three divine timing cards here, guys, with the seven of pentacles, the wheel of fortune and temperance. You just have to let things run its course here, Gemini. 
And I talked about balancing having fun and spending time alone. Balancing having fun and doing the work. You can't have more of one or the other. Because that causes an imbalance between the masculine and feminine energies. There is something with living life in moderation with this temperance card, like I said. Too much work, you're not in balance. Too much partying, too much spending time with friends, you're not in balance. You got to find a balance. And you have to stop letting third-party situations, whether they're with people or some other thing. Because remember, third-party can be focusing too much on work, drinking, addictions, uh, obsessions with things. That could be third-party stuff. Whatever this third-party stuff is, you have to stop letting it affect you. You have to letting it. You have to stop letting it destroy your inner peace. You're also not going to find peace outside of yourself, Gemini. You're going to find it within. Some of you need to meditate more, um, do yoga. But again, even that, it's not really going to do everything. Even if you've been doing that and it's not helping, there's other things that you have to really get to the bottom of. And it may be something you may, may not want to do, but apparently for some of you, you're going to have to do it. It's part of the shadow work. All right. Some of you may very well be afraid of being alone. You're never alone, Gemini. You have your angels, your guides, your ancestors. You will grow more spiritually in solitude. God does his best work in solitude. That's exactly what happened to me. And it was a huge lesson for me to learn that I had to learn how to be by myself. I had to stop getting into these relationships that were not fulfilling and I had to do my inner work. Look what's after this, the Six of Swords. See, there's more balance. You got to move away from what the chaos and conflict, things that are just like people taking advantage of you, whatever this misunderstanding is, like just... Follow your light, all right? It's about following your light and understanding that you are the one who can get into the boat to head towards your paradise here. Your life's purpose is going to leave you to peace, tranquility, paradise, all right? Um, see, strength card. <laughs> Building up that strength, that, that resilience here with being by yourself and having a balance, okay? You can have fun. But there are going to be times where you're going to have to spend time alone. That's a hard thing to manage, trust me, especially me as a single parent. But you will be able to, to do that. Again, it takes time. All right? Good things take time. It's a buildup of things, guys, because you guys are being prepared for something greater. Others of you, there is a reunion here. There is a... Um, a date coming up, uh, an invitation to something, a party, a wedding, a celebration, an anniversary, a birthday party, whatever this is. There's some reconciliation here. You're going to be invited out to some sort of event here. Um, Gemini, you did get that last week. Did you guys get the three cups at the same position? I got to go watch the videos. There's peace coming in to the situation. Not only, yeah, somebody's coming in to reconcile with you. They, they want peace. Here, I come with peace is what I just heard. Um, it's for some of you, divine timing is here. The stars are now aligned. Everything is now perfect for you to move forward. Again, there's a lot of peace. This reconciliation is going to bring peace to a connection here. Maybe it's with a friendship or with somebody that you were friends with before and this person wants to move things to the next level. Okay, it could be a shock to you. But... There's there's peace coming into this friendship or this uh, um, this situation here. There's a huge transition of, of moving forward to something that's going to be more calm. I'm hearing um, things are looking up, Gemini. You are no longer going to be in this situation where you feel like nothing is moving or nothing is uh, progressing. There are better times ahead. There are sunnier days ahead here, Gemini. There's there's more peace coming into your life. You probably are at a state of peace, right? 
You've been, you've been going with the flow. You've been trusting in divine timing and now divine timing is here and now the time is ripe, I'm hearing, for this reunion, for this reconciliation. There's going to be a lot more peace brought to between the two of you. And again, there's the strength card here. There's a recovery. There is... Um, somebody I said has tremendous confidence and courage here coming forward it took a long time for them to build up the strength and this courage and this confidence a lot but that's a good thing because now they're they're prepared for anything i'm hearing this person's ready for everything there's somebody coming towards you gemini with this communication they're ready for everything because now they're like i'm ready to take action i have all this high energy i am one with god i am so I have grown so much spiritually that I'm not fearful of anything. This king of wands is not fearful of anything. When he wants to do something, he does it without fear. He makes a plan and says, you know what? I'm going to execute it. I'm going to go through this. I'm not going to have any reservations about it. I am going to do this come hell or high water. This person, that was part of their lesson too, to overcome the fear with, with revealing the truth, with coming out of hiding especially with revealing hidden feelings. All right. Let's see what guidance we have for Gemini. Oh, that was fast. Okay. Oh, there's two here. Freedom. It's like that George Michael song. You got to give what you take. Right there. And healing grief. Number 19. Got six and 19. Maybe six is significant for you. Number five, here's change. Here's a healing heart. The bottom of the deck. Why do I feel like we got this before, Gemini? I'm going to have to look at, at last week's reading. If this stuff keeps coming up, Gemini, it, there's a reason for it. Okay? There's a reason for it. Let's look at number six with the freedom card which ties into the judgment card. Freedom. Blackberry supports shadow work, helps face primal fears, protects and heals. Obsidian, which is a crystal that will help you with your healing, guys, exposes flaws, weaknesses, and blockages and provides support when facing them. True freedom requires intense shadow work. Face your deepest fears. Feel your hardest, scariest, most shameful emotions. Only through recognizing and naming them can you finally deal with them and be free. Do not go alone into the shadows of your soul. Call on the darkness, the call on the dark guard goddess who will guide and protect you. I am ready to face my worst fear or shameful emotion. I know I am not alone and that the dark goddess will guide me towards true freedom. You see what I was saying? Some of you are still kind of afraid to do the shadow work. Guys, it's going to set you free. It has to be done. All right. It's part of, if you're a light worker, you got to do the shadow work. A true light worker does the shadow work and teaches others about shadow work. It's not pleasant, but it will be freeing, guys. Trust me on this. Healing grief, number 19. There's some of you guys still got to go deep within and, and heal some heartbreak stuff from the past. Okay. Stop trying to escape that. Where's 19? Where did I go? Here we go. Spider wort, also called widow's tears, heals grief and sadness and is helpful to overly to the overly sensitive. Lepidolite is useful for balancing the emotions. That's another crystal that can help you with this. Dealing with grief is a delicate matter. On one hand, the emotions must be felt, acknowledged, and honored. You must be fully present with your feelings. On the other hand, you must have faith that there is light beyond the darkness. Processing grief requires a delicate touch combined with strength. I have suffered a great loss. I feel shattered and lost. I am gentle with myself as I process this loss. I comfort myself with the knowledge that there is light beyond the darkness. There is liberation here. Gemini. Five. The healing heart. I know this has to do with heartbreak. Bleeding heart. Heals broken hearts and wounds caused, by, caused through relationship issues. 
Emeralds are tiny, brilliant crystals of emotional healing. A broken heart is one of the hardest wounds to heal because you often go about it wrong, acting stoically, lashing out in anger, or indulging in non-productive self-pity and consequently distracting ourselves from actually feeling the emotions. Feel your honest emotions, honor them, and release them, making way for true healing. My heart hurts. I feel the pain and name the source of it. I allow myself to experience it even though it is hard. I honor the experience of my heart. I release the pain. All right, Gemini. Healing, doing the shadow work and true healing of that heart from past broken hearts, relationships. It's going to set you free. God is calling you. You got to do this. You got to do this, Gemini. Again, you guys are being called. People are waiting for you, Gemini, because you are going to be helping them with their healing. But you got to do your healing first. And everything that you've gone through, you're going to have people come to you who are, have similar journeys, and you're going to be able to help free them as well. People are waiting for you, Gemini. It's time to do the shadow work. Let's see what other guidance we have. Others of you, you've done this. That's why there are things changing now for you, for, for the better. Time to shine. Create creates the energetic resonance for golden opportunities. Shine your light here. Gemini, we have the king of wands. That's the king of light. Okay, the counterpart is the queen of light. We saw the Ace of Pentacles, right? This is your time to shine. This is a golden opportunity for you to really start doing the shadow work and the healing work, guys. That's for some, not for all of you. Others of you, because you've completed this, yeah, you're, you're now elevating to a new phase of your journey. That's what I said for some, for those who've done the work, it's judgment day. God is exalting you. You're moving now to the next phase of your mission. You're going to shine more brightly than you are currently. That's for those of you who've already got healed the grief, healed the heart heartbreak and stuff like that. Philosopher's, uh, Philosopher's Stone is at the bottom of the deck. Powerful manifestation of wishes and goals by harnessing universal energy. See, when you go through this healing, your light's going to get brighter. A lot of things are going to turn in your favor here. Okay? And you're going to be able to better manifest things of a of, uh, more positive nature into your life here, manifest, manifesting your goals and your wishes, right? But again, you, you have to persevere. You have to let nature take its course. It's divine timing. This whole healing, guys, it takes time. And you guys keep getting this message. You cannot rush it. You can't rush it. You can do, again, you can do all the meditation and yoga and sea salt baths to your heart's content, to your blue in the face, that is not all of it. You have to do the shadow work. You have to go down into the depths there and really dig out those hurts, those pains and say, you know what? Come to terms with this. Okay, I acknowledge this. Uh, I acknowledge this. Now I'm going to really do the healing work, the true healing work. And that is going to help you to manifest what it is that your heart is desiring. You got to harness that universal energy. But again, that's dealing with really getting down to the weeds. <laughs> really going down to the most scariest, hardest places in your heart, right? That's what it, that one of the cards said. Look what's after this, perseverance. The motivation to keep going despite the odds. Exactly with the seven of pentacles there. The festival's at the top of the deck. Creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event. Oh, <laughs> okay. Maybe you're getting invited to a festival for some of you. I don't know, but there it is. A fantastic party event. It's coming up again. Right here. Right here. You're going to be invited to something. And underneath is the Mystic Star. Harmony in the home and great friendships. There's a friendship card here. All right. Okay. Let's see what the... Island Time Wellness cards say, let's go, what's going on with Gemini's love situation? 
spirit guides, angels, galactic family, for the Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Oh, I saw something. Or maybe not. Yep, there it is. Oh, oh my God. Cheers. New beginnings, anniversary. I talked about that. Milestone, date, celebration, meeting new people, happiness. What was I saying about this? Okay. You know what I'm also getting for some of you? Where maybe you continue to have reunions with your person and you're thinking it's the final one. This is for some of you, not for all of you. But it's not the right time yet. Or you're forcing, you are the one who's like, oh, let's go out for drinks. Let's go do something together, right? Celebration, dates. Let's go hang out. Let's go out for drinks, right? But you're, you're trying to force the union with your counterpart, perhaps. But you're not focusing on your divine timing. I mean, you're, you're not paying attention to divine timing. It's like you're trying to force this balance or you're trying to force a union between the two of you guys. Maybe you're doing too much, again, with living in moderation. Again, for some of you, you're doing too much of hanging out with friends and stuff. Or this is you trying to... Um, go out with your person or, or, you know, set up events when you're afraid of doing the shadow work. You're afraid of being alone. You're thinking that, you know, when you reunite with your person or your person contacts you and says, hey, let's go out for drinks. Let's go out and do this. And you're thinking that it's the final thing, but you know you're not ready and your person's not ready. And especially if all of a sudden things don't work out in your favor, right? That could be the poor return of investment. You're investing your time, money, and energy in trying to hang out with this person or these people. And it's like an escape where you're trying to force something positive to happen, but it's not working out in your favor. That's for somebody here. Okay. You know why I'm saying this? Because this is part of a lesson learned. See, some of you, you know, God's telling you, you need to do the work. And then you keep coming into reunion with your person. And it's not the real harmonious sacred union. It's not four of wands. Okay. It's three of cups. You're thinking you're going to reconcile, but that's, it's not the real reconciliation. Because look what's at the bottom of the deck. Wicked, mischievous, naughty, harmful, dangerous, false portrayal, lie, cheat, beware. Beware of what you're doing, some of you. You're thinking this is the new beginning, that you're hitting a milestone. You're thinking this is going to bring happiness, but you're lying to yourself. Or your person comes forward and let's just go out for drinks. And you're like, oh, cool, this is going to be it. So again, with the communication coming in, for some of you, with communication coming in, this is not going to be the actual Four of Wands type of energy. The actual harmonious, stable, sacred union. It's just another phase for you to learn from. It's another lesson for you to learn when you come back together to see if you've actually learned stuff. But I'm getting for some of you, you haven't. Because there's still healing to do. Be careful. Especially if you get invited out. But it's kind of the same as before. Now I will say, if you get communication and you get invited out, yet this person tells you to do everything, they're not ready yet. You know why? Because only a king of wands will be the one to set everything up. I picked the time. I picked the place. I will pick you up at this time. Like making sure that you can be there, right? Taking control, taking the lead. 
if they're not taking the lead with this date, Gemini, or this event, they come to you. This is for some of you, not for all of you. They're not coming as a king. See, this is in the obstacle position. They're coming in like this. They're not a true king of wands. A true divine masculine is going to take the lead. Make the plans. Okay? This is at the bottom of the deck for a reason. You're going to have to use discernment with this, Gemini. You're going to have to be honest with yourself because, again, you're thinking, oh, cool, this is going to work out. Or if you're the one who keeps making the plans to meet up and stuff like that, uh-uh-uh. That is not your role, especially if you're a divine feminine. You need a king of wands to make the plans. That is a true divine masculine. Okay, there's still some distortion here. False portrayal. It says it right there. Be very careful. This person may be wanting to meet up with you, either trying to get something else out of you, or they're still looking at you as an option. Okay? And again, there's healing that still needs to be done. And you're like, it's time to shine. It's time for you to stop trying to, to um, hang out with this individual or whatever this is. It could even just be with friends. All right? Again, some of you are lying to yourselves trying to escape, oh, I'm going to go hang out, hang out with friends and, and this is going to be all good. But then you come back and you're like, oh my God, you're crying and you're just like in despair and you're not doing the shadow work. It, guys, this is no judgment on you. Trust me because I have been there. All right. I've already gone through all of this. Don't do what I did. Really balance that out. All right. But do the shadow work. You got to do the shadow work. You got to stop faking your happiness here. And if you are, are getting communication from someone and they continue to like want to hang out with you, but they're not, they're having you do all the planning, that is a distorted masculine. If you're having friends who are like having you do everything and it's like they're putting all the pressure on you, that's still distorted energy. All right. Don't try to fake your happiness and do all these fun things to escape doing the work stop having third party things if you're overworking i gotta work i gotta work i gotta work because i gotta make money i don't want to do the healing work you're not heeding the call working overworking yourself is not part of your life's purpose it's not for others of you yeah look at Sorry, not sorry, friction, sarcasm, false apology, apathy, forgive, make amends, harboring hurt or resentment. Be careful. Again, if this person's coming in to make plans or they want to hang out with you, but they make you do all the work, again, they are not divine masculine. It's not a true king of wands. False apology. Friction, sarcasm, sorry, not sorry. What's after that? Team awesome. Okay. So be careful with that. What's at the top of the deck? What a catch. An ideal partner or mate, abundant self-esteem, value. The answer is yes, marriage material. Okay, so this is for another group. The screw, not interested in, leaving quickly, in trouble, getting shafted, horizontal jogging, telling someone off. Okay, guys, there are some of you where you're going to get communication from someone. There, There's something about being, uh, they're asking you out for drinks. I've been getting from, for other readings, if a true divine masculine is going to ask you out, it's not going to be about drinks anymore. Because maybe this has been a pattern between the two of you. They're going to take you out to something more formal, like a fine dinner. I'm going to take you out to dinner at this place. And we're going to go see a show or a, a orchestra or whatever this is. The whole let's go meet out for drinks thing. What do you usually do when you meet out for drinks? It's like happy hour, right? It's like going to a bar and hanging out. It's casual. If this person is continuing to do this, what's going to happen? They're not really interested. They're just trying, oh, you're an option. Let's see if, if, if Gemini is available to go out for drinks and just shoot the shit. Maybe I'll get lucky. Leaving 
quickly, okay? Getting shafted, be very careful because this person may very well do the same thing that they've been doing. Use discernment. Again, you're, I'm telling you the secret here, guys. If this person, they invite you out, but they make you do all the plans, that they're still not divine masculine, okay? They're not. A distorted masculine does that. There's an ulterior motive here. You may not like what I'm saying, but you're here for a reason. This is what I'm being, that's coming through. The others of you, there is a king of wands coming in. They're making all the plans. They're taking action. They're taking the lead. And when they invite you out, again, the top of the deck we have here. A fantastic party or event. It's an event. It's not going out for drinks, okay? For the, for the true king of wands coming in, this person's got everything planned. It's a formal event, right? It says fantastic party of a festival. I don't know. Inviting you for something different other than what they've been doing, okay? There is a date, a celebration, some some. Let's celebrate together. Your person, a true divine masculine, the true king of wands is going to want to celebrate with you. They want to reconcile with you, but they know they have to come to you differently. They know they can't come to you and say, hey, uh, Jess, hey, Gemini, let's go out for drinks. They know that that's not going to work anymore because you know better. For those of you who've really ascended, who've really done your work, you know that that's not going to work out. Okay. So this person knows that they have to come correct and they're like, you know what? Let's go actually celebrate. There could be like, again, fine dining with like champagne or fine wine or something here. Because they know that what they've done before, they were, it was a false portrayal. They know they have to stop lying and, and they have to come clean here. Right? Making amends. They want to make amends. The true king of wands is going to come in and make amends here because they know they can't They can't live a lie anymore. They can't try to do things to try to... Uh, it's kind of like a one-sided relationship to try to get their way. All right? See, after this, team awesome. Healthy and open communication, spending time together, compatible on the same page. Some of you are now on the same page. There's going to be open and healthy communication. You guys are going to be talking. This whole event here is for you guys to really talk some things through. I'm hearing like a heart to heart conversations probably. And again, with this, because they know you're the ideal partner. They built up a lot of self-esteem to come forward with, with um, offering you this, this invitation to this event. They find a lot of value in you. You have helped them. You've saved their life, I'm hearing. You've helped them to overcome a lot of things in life. The answer is yes. Marriage material. This person's got an epiphany. They're heeding the call now saying, this is your person. This is marriage material. But what they're going to do first now is they're really going to stop doing this and just hang out with you and then leave getting shafted screwing you over right who's walking who control power issues resistant unenthusiastic being led on getting pulled overwhelmed making a bold move an invitation there you go making things happen that is what a true king of wands does they're the ones who are going to make all the plans and take the lead with this invitation to whatever it is. Some celebration of something. It's funny because it says the festival, right? This is like a festival. Maybe you're being invited out to some sort of festival or something that uh, maybe you guys have not both an interest in. I don't know. Again, guys, there, there's a big t t uh, lesson there. I didn't want to continue to drag this on, but Spirit really wanted me to get that out. Because I have been seeing there is communication coming in and the masculine is going to come and, um, you know, 
want to spend some time with you, but if it's the same type of date as before, going out for drinks, that is more casual. A king of wands is going to plan everything out and they're going to do something way more serious than going out for drinks. I'm just going to put it out there. Why? Because I've been through the same thing. Okay? You've been warned. Some of you have been warned. You're going to know when this communic communication comes in, whether you're still dealing with a distorted masculine or divine feminine. I mean, <laughs> divine masculine. All right? I'm going to leave it at that. But this guy's not ready yet. This reunion is to teach you a lesson. That's why it's in the lesson position. Okay? All right. Um, Gemini. Let's put that there. Well, if you watch me already, do you know where to find me? If you would like to book a reading or a live coaching session, check out the description box below. I did add an Akashic Records reading to my list of services. There is a direct link for that reading below where I tap into your past life stuff. Maybe some past life stuff. You guys still have some things to clear out with your person. Um, uh, somebody actually requested that reading and I've been wanting to do it and I finally put a listing up for it on my website. So there's a direct link to that. If you want to understand better what karma you're carrying, why you're still fearing things, why you're still having issues with healing, there could be some serious stuff that happened to you, some traumatic stuff that happened to you, Gemini, in the past. So if you would like to know more about that and to help you understand more about your mission, you can uh, book an Akashic Records reading that I have a direct link to. If you go to capellawellness.com, it's underneath the personalized reading section. All right. Any questions you have at all, guys, you know where to find me. Emails in the description. You go to capellawellness.com. There's plenty of other methods for you to contact me. All right. All right, guys, this concludes your weekly reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starring out.